and lithic. I-T-H-I-C, meaning stone. All right, let's get back to this site, Turkdeen Barrow near Hazelton. Contains a central pass passage and three chambers or cysts. Don't confuse that with robbing, in which case we mean the removal of the contents of the barrel. This site also demonstrates one of the great dangers of archaeology, not to life and limb, although that does sometimes take place. No, I'm talking about folklore. In this case, local tradition held that there was a golden coffin buried at the site. And this accounts for the holes dug all over the barrow and the generally poor condition of the find. However, chamber three was undisturbed. And the undisturbed chamber and the grave goods that were found in another, uh, in the area, give us a uh, reason to, to, uh, to, to date this uh, find as we have. Um, any questions, then? No, OK, that's it for the day, then. Um, don't forget, Michelson, chapters 4 and 5 for next time. And I will be in my office on Thursday, but not Wednesday. I had it, Marcus. I had it in my hand. What happened? Yes. Look. You want to hear about it? Not at all. I'm sure everything you do for the museum conforms to the International Treaty for the Protection of Antiquities. It's beautiful, Marcus. I can get it. I got it all figured out. There's only one place you can sell it, Marrakesh. I need two thousand dollars. Listen to look, me, I've I brought some people to see you. Look, I got these pieces. They're good pieces, Marcus. Look, <laughs> Indiana. Yes, the museum will buy them as usual. No questions asked. Yes, they are nice. They're worth at least the price of a ticket to America. The people I brought are important and I'm waiting. What people? The army intelligence. I knew you were coming before I did. See to know everything. You couldn't tell me what they want. And what do I want to see them for? What am I, in trouble? Yeah, Dr. Jones, we've heard a great deal about you. Have you? Professor of archaeology, expert on the occult, and uh, how does one say it? Obtainer of rare antiquities. One way of saying it. Why don't you sit down? You'll be more comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you're a man of many talents. Uh, you studied under Professor Ravenwood at the University of Chicago. Yes, I did. You have no idea of his present whereabouts? Uh, just rumors, really. Somewhere in Asia, I think. I haven't really spoken to him for 10 years. We were friends, but. Uh, had a bit of a falling out, I'm afraid. Mm. Dr. Jones, now you, you must understand that this is all strictly confidential. Right? I understand. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday afternoon, our European sections intercepted a, a German communique that was sent from Cairo to Berlin. Now, you see, Cairo, over the last two now, years, the Nazis have had teams of archaeologists running around the world looking for all kinds of religious artifacts. Hitler's a nut on the subject. He's crazy. He's obsessed with the occult. And right now, apparently, there's some kind of German archaeological dig going on in the desert outside of Cairo. Now, we've got some information here, but we can't make anything out of it, and maybe you can. Tannis development proceeding. Acquire headpiece, staff of Ra, Abner Ravenwood, U.S. Nazis have discovered Tannis. Just what does that mean to you, uh, Tannis? Well, well the city of Tannis means. is one of the possible resting places of the Lost Ark. The Lost Ark? Yeah, the Ark of the Covenant, the chest the Hebrews used to carry around the Ten Commandments. What do you what mean, do you mean Commandments? You're talking about the Ten Commandments? Yes, the actual Ten Commandments, the original stone tablets that Moses brought down out of Mount Harab and smashed, if you believe in that sort of thing. Any of you guys ever go to Sunday school? Well, I... Oh, look. The Hebrews took the broken pieces and put them in the ark. When they settled in Canaan, they put the ark in a place called the Temple of Solomon. In Jerusalem. Where it stayed for many years, until all of a sudden, whoosh, is gone. Where? Well, nobody knows where or when. However, an Egyptian pharaoh... Shishan. Yes, invaded the city of Jerusalem around about 980 B.C., and he may have taken the ark back to the city of Tanis and hidden it in a secret chamber called the Well of Souls. 
secret chamber. However, about a year after the pharaoh had returned to Egypt, the city of Tanis was consumed by the desert in a sandstorm which lasted a whole year, wiped clean by the wrath of God. Uh, uh, obviously, we've come to the right men. Now, you seem to know uh, all about this, Tanis. Uh, no, no, not really. Ravenwood is the real expert. Abner did the first serious work on Tanis, collected some of its relics. It was his obsession, really. But he never found the city. Frankly, we're somewhat suspicious of Mr. Ravenwood, uh, American being mentioned so prominently in a secret Nazi cable. Oh, rubbish. Ravenwood's no Nazi. Well, what did the Nazis want him for, then? Well, obviously, the Nazis are looking for the headpiece to the Staff of Ra, and they think Abner's got it. What exactly is a headpiece to the Staff of Ra? Well, the staff is just a stick, I don't know, about this big. Nobody really knows for sure how high it is. It's, uh, it's a cap with an elaborate headpiece in the shape of the sun with a crystal in the center. And what you did was you take the staff to a special room in Tadness, a map room with a miniature of the city all laid out on the floor. And if you put the staff in a certain place at a certain time of day, the sun shone through here and made a beam that came down on the floor here and gave you the exact location of the Well of the Souls. Where the Ark of the Covenant was kept, right? Which is exactly what the Nazis are looking for. Now, what does this Ark look like? Uh, there's a picture of it right here. That's it. Good God. Yes, that's just what the Hebrews thought. Uh... Now, what's that supposed to be coming out of there? Lightning. Fire. Power of God or something. I'm beginning to understand Hitler's interest in this. Thing. Oh, yes. The Bible speaks of the Ark leveling mountains and laying waste to entire regions. An army which carries the Ark before it is invincible. <laughs> <laughs> 